There's a problem on possession. What do you do? So first of all, a lot of people think I'm going to do a walkthrough the day before possession and save all kinds of problems if things come up on the possession day. Here's the problem. If you don't have a holdback clause, you can do that walkthrough, but it doesn't necessarily help you because there's no teeth. There's no ability to do anything unless the other side agrees. Now, we'll talk about uh, holdback clauses and things like that in another video, but if you go into a property and there's a problem, then what? What happens next? So the first thing we want to talk about is you want to make sure we give notice to the other side. Do send an email or text to the other realtor, call the lawyer. We'll instantly call, well, right away, we'll call the other lawyer on the file and we will make sure that they know that there's a problem. The problem being, sometimes if you wait a week before we tell them, they could say, well, obviously this wasn't a problem at possession, this was something that happened afterwards. You moved in and put that hole in the wall. You moved in and then the fridge stopped working or the furnace stopped working. So timeliness is gonna be really important on these. Again, we don't, unless there's something written in, we can't just hold back funds on our own. But of all the problems we have, 98% of the time we can work out something with the other lawyer, make sure that there's some fines and the client's needs are, are addressed. The issue that if they say no, the seller says no, the only recourse is to sue in small claims court. So that's to keep in the back of your mind. Now there's some things that unless they're written into the contract, there's no set standard. So the biggest one that comes up is the cleanliness. Is the person moved into the property, what's the condition, how does it look? One person's clean is not another person's clean. And almost every single time someone moves into a home, they're gonna clean out the kitchen cabinets and make sure it's all their muck instead of somebody else's. Um, if you have a requirement for cleanliness, then put in the contract. The property will be professionally cleaned, that kind of thing. So make sure it's in and it's clear. And if you ever have any questions, just call the lawyer you're working with.